happening today. The people behind a legal challenge to the plan to build a gondola up Little Cottonwood Canyon are addressing the public for the first time. The coalition challenging the Utah Department of Transportation's controversial plan wants to wants them to reconsider their approach. ABC 4's Nate Larson was at that press conference and brings us the story this evening, Nate. That's right, uh, Emily and Sarah. So the coalition consists of members from Friends of Alta, an international outdoor recreation asset alliance, and several individuals. The group is trying to put a stop to a gondola project up Little Cottonwood Canyon. This is a significant waste of taxpayer dollars, as there are simpler and far cheaper common sense solutions that we think will deal with both the transportation uh, congestion and the safety problems in Little Cottonwood Canyon. The first phase of the Cottonwood Canyons project is supposed to be completed for the 2025-26 season. It focuses on increased busing services, a mobility hub, and tolling up the canyons. We know that we have traffic problems, serious traffic problems, and, and I'd like to remind people that the gondola was only one part of that proposal. The gondola is the final phase and has the most significant cost. The current estimated cost is about $725 million. That's up from about $550 million in, in uh, January. The average household taxpayer income is about $75,000. And yet the average skier income, according to Elta Ski Lifts, is well over $150,000. So what we're actually seeing is a tax upon the average taxpayer to subsidize the wealthy skiers that are taking advantage of the two private businesses in Little Cottonwood Canyon. The coalition says the increased busing services and alternate rideshare options are just some of the better solutions. We have concerns about the costs. We have concerns about the environment. And last but not least, I'm old enough to actually think that government should be for the people by the people. I'm astounded at the, at the strength of the public opposition. In a statement released by UDOT spokesperson John Gleason today, it states, in part, at this time, we do not know the full impact the legal challenge will have on our implementation of improvements such as bus service and tolling. We will continue to assess potential schedule impacts to phase one as we work through the legal process. All right, now phase one is the only phase that's been funded. $150 million has been set aside from legislature to fund the bus, increased potential bus services, the mobility hub, new parking, uh, or excuse me, new bus stops at resorts, and also tolling. Live in Salt Lake City, I'm Nate Larson, ABC4 News.